uh, as if the whole Manti Teo to hoax could not get more bizarre. Now the guy behind the catfishing scam is actually recreating the voice he says he used to enrapture Teo for months. But is it really him? ABC's Lindsay Davis consulted some experts. Can't express how sorry I am towards Manti and his family. In an exclusive interview with Dr. Phil, Renaya Tuesasopo not only admits he was the mastermind behind the Manti Teo girlfriend hoax, but we watch as this big, burly 22-year-old man goes behind this privacy screen and allegedly transforms his voice into what sounds like the fictitious female character he created, Lene. Here's the original voicemail. Hey, babe, I'm just calling to say goodnight. I love you. And here's Tuesasopo's version. Hey, babe. Um, I'm just calling to say goodnight, and I love you. According to Dr. Phil's voice print experts, the first recordings behind the screen tend to point toward a match. But Dr. Phil was still skeptical, so he had Rania record again from the same place where he says he made the calls, his home. Again, here's a different voicemail. I don't know who answered your phone. And I don't care. And here's to Sopo's version. I don't know who answered your phone, and I don't care. While Dr. Phil says all three of his voice print experts confirmed Tuesa Sopo's voice matched the voice on the voicemails, we asked our own expert. But from the three voicemails that have been released, there really are no signs that I think Teo could have heard to give away that he wasn't talking to a woman and he was talking to a man. Watch as we compare the two voice samples side by side. You know, you got here and I'm getting ready for my first session. Just want to call to keep you posted. You know, I got here and I'm getting ready for my first session and just wanted to call you and keep you posted. When Teo sat down with Katie Couric last week, he said he was convinced he was talking to a woman. Doesn't it sound like a girl? It so does. Tuesa Sopo says he created that voice and the whole Lene character as an escape from his own life, burdened by childhood trauma. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York. As we said, as if the story could not get more bizarre.